I am about to endow you with many secrets, which I implore you to never use for an evil purpose. For a curse is anyone who takes the name of God in vain. You may make use of these secrets without any other ceremonies. Provided that as I have said, you have only the glory of God as your objective. Now understand the order and colors for the heavenly bodies and their sigils. Saturn. The seven sigils consecrated to Saturn, the color of black. The first sigil of Saturn. This sigil is of great value and utility for striking terror into the spirits. When it is shown to the spirits they submit, kneel on the earth before it, and obey. Written on the sigil is Psalm 72 verse 9. They that dwell in the wilderness shall bow before God, and God's enemies will lick the dust. The second sigil of Saturn. This sigil is of great value against adversities and of special usefulness in repressing the pride of the spirits. Written around this sigil is Psalm 72 verse 8. God's dominion shall be from one sea to the other and from the flood to the world's end. The third sigil of Saturn. This should be made within the magical circle, and it is good for use at night, when you invoke the spirits of the nature of Saturn. The fourth sigil of Saturn. This sigil serves principally for executing all the experiments and operations of ruin and destruction. When it is made in full perfection it also serves for those spirits which bring news and information, when you invoke them from the south. Written herein is Psalms 109 verse 18. He wore cursing as his garment. It entered into his body like water, and into his bones like oil. The fifth sigil of Saturn. This sigil defends those who invoke the spirits of Saturn during the night, and chases away the spirits that guard treasures. The verse written in Hebrew here is Deuteronomy 10 verse 17. For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords. The great God, mighty and awesome, who shows no partiality and accepts no bribes. The sixth sigil of Saturn. Around this sigil is each name symbolized as it should be. The person who you pronounce it against shall be pursued by demons. Written in Hebrew around it is, set a wicked one upon them, and let the great adversary of humanity stand at their right hand. The seventh and last sigil of Saturn. This sigil is fit for exciting earthquakes, seeing that the power of each order of angels invoked herein is sufficient to make the whole universe tremble. The verse written is Psalms 18 verse 7. The earth trembled and quaked, and the foundations of the mountains shook. They trembled because God was angry. Jupiter. The seven sigils consecrated to Jupiter, the color of blue. The first sigil of Jupiter. This sigil serves to invoke the spirits of Jupiter, and especially those whose names are written around a sigil, among whom is the master of treasures, who teaches us how to become possessor of places where treasures are located. The second sigil of Jupiter. This sigil is proper for acquiring glory, honor, dignities, riches, all kinds of good and great tranquility of mind to discover treasures and pacify the spirits who preside over them. Written in this sigil is Psalms 112 verse 3. Wealth and riches are in God's house, and God's righteousness will endure forever. The third sigil of Jupiter. This sigil defends and protects those who invoke the spirits. When they appear, show them this sigil and immediately they will obey. Written here is Psalms 125 verse 1. Those who trust in God are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken and endures forever. The fourth sigil of Jupiter. This sigil serves to acquire riches and honor. It should be engraved on silver, the day and hour of Jupiter, when Jupiter is in the sign of Cancer. Psalms 112 verse 3 is also written around this sigil. The fifth sigil of Jupiter. This sigil has great power. It serves for assured visions. Jacob being armed with this sigil beheld the ladder which reached to heaven. Written around this sigil is an excerpt from Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 1. The heavens were opened, and I saw visions of God. The sixth sigil of Jupiter. 
It serves for protection against all earthly dangers. By regarding it each day devotedly and repeating the verse which surrounds it, you shall never perish. The verse written is Psalms 22 verses 16 and 17. They pierced my hands and my feet, I can count all my bones. The seventh and last sigil of Jupiter. It has great power against poverty, if you consider it with devotion and repeat the verse. It serves to discover treasures and to further drive away those spirits who guard treasures. Psalms 123 verse 7. God raises up the poor out of the dust and lifts the needy out of the dunghill. That God may set them with royalty, even with the royalty of their own people. Mars. The seven sigils consecrated to Mars, the color of red. The first sigil of Mars is proper for invoking spirits of the nature of Mars, especially those which are written in the sigil. The second sigil of Mars. This sigil serves with great success against all kinds of diseases if it is applied to the afflicted part. The third sigil of Mars. It is of great value for exciting hostility, wrath, and discord, also for resisting enemies and striking terror into rebellious spirits. The names of God are therein expressly marked. Written here in Hebrew is Psalm 77 verse 13. What God is as great as our God. The fourth sigil of Mars. It is of great virtue and power in conflict, without doubt it will give you victory. The Psalms written here is 110 verse 5. The Lord is at your right hand and will crush kings on the day of wrath. The fifth sigil of Mars. Write this sigil upon clean paper. It is terrible to the demons. At its sight they will obey and cannot resist its presence. Written in Hebrew is Psalms 91 verse 13. You shall tread on the viper and the basilisk. You shall trample on the lion and the dragon. The sixth sigil of Mars. It has virtue so great that if you are attacked by anyone while being armed with this sigil, you shall neither be injured nor wounded when you fight them. Your enemy's own weapons will turn against them. Written in Hebrew within this sigil is Psalms 37 verse 15. Their swords will pierce their own hearts and their bows will be broken. The seventh and last sigil of Mars. This sigil should be written on clean paper on the day and hour of Mars. Uncover it within the circle, invoking the spirits whose names are therein written, you will immediately see hail and tempest. Written in Hebrew is Psalms 105 verses 32 and 33. God sent them hail instead of rain, with burning fires in their land. God struck down their vines and shattered the trees of their country. The sun. The seven sigils consecrated to the sun, the color of yellow. The first sigil of the sun. The countenance of the Almighty. At whose aspect all creatures obey and the angelic spirits do reverence on bended knee. Written in Latin it states, Behold his face and form, by whom all things were made, and whom all creatures obey. The second sigil of the sun. This sigil, along with the preceding and following, belong to the nature of the sun. They serve to repress the pride and arrogance of the solar spirits. They are altogether proud and arrogant by their nature. The third sigil of the sun. This serves in addition to the effects of the two preceding sigils to acquire kingdom and empire. To inflict loss, acquire renown and glory, especially through the name of God. The verse written is similar to Daniel 4 verse 34. God's dominion is an eternal dominion. God's kingdom endures from generation to generation. The fourth sigil of the sun. This sigil serves to enable you to see the spirits when they are invisible to those who invoke them. When you have uncovered it, they will immediately appear visible. The verse here is from Psalms 13 verses 3 and 4. Lord God, give light to my eyes lest I sleep in death. Do not let my enemies gloat, saying they have defeated me. Do not let my enemies rejoice at my downfall. The fifth sigil of the sun. It serves to invoke those spirits who can transport you from one place to another, 
over a long distance in a short time. Psalms 91 verses 11 and 12, He will give angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands. The sixth sigil of the sun. It serves excellently for the operation of invisibility, when correctly made. The verses from Psalm 69 verse 23. Let their eyes be darkened, so that they cannot see, and make their bodies continually to shake. The seventh and last sigil of the sun. If anyone is imprisoned or detained. At the presence of this sigil they will immediately be delivered and set free. It should be engraved in gold on the day and hour of the sun. Psalms 116 verses 16 and 17. God has broken my shackles. I will give thanks and praise the name of God. Venus. The five sigils consecrated to Venus, the color of green. The first sigil of Venus. This sigil and those following serve to control the spirits of Venus, and especially those whose names are written within. The second sigil of Venus. These sigils are proper for obtaining grace and honor, and for all things which belong unto Venus, and for accomplishing all your desires therein. This verse is from Song of Songs chapter 8 verse 6. Place me like a seal over your heart, like a seal on your arm, for love is as strong as death. The third sigil of Venus. This, if it is only shown to any person, serves to attract love. It should be invoked in the day and hour of Venus. The verse written here is Genesis 1 verse 28. God blessed them, and said to them, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth and subdue it. The fourth sigil of Venus. It has great power and compels the spirits of Venus to obey, also to summon a person you wish to see. The verse written here is Genesis 2 verse 23. This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. The fifth and last sigil of Venus. When it is shown to any person it incites wonderful feelings of love. Written here is Psalms 22 verse 14. My heart is turned to wax, it is melted within me. Mercury. The five sigils consecrated to Mercury, the color of purple or mixed colors. The first sigil of Mercury. It serves to invoke the spirits who are under the firmament. The second sigil of Mercury. The spirits here serve to bring about and grant things which are contrary to the order of nature. Those things which are not contained under any other dominion. They easily give answer, but it is difficult for them to be seen. The third sigil of Mercury. This and the following sigils serve to invoke the spirits which are subject to Mercury especially those who are written in this sigil. The fourth sigil of Mercury. This is further proper to acquire the understanding and knowledge of all things created. To discover hidden things and command those spirits who perform embassies. They obey very readily. The verses written state, God, fix the volatile, and let there be restriction on the void. Wisdom and virtue are in God's house, and the knowledge of all things remains with God forever. The fifth and last sigil of Mercury commands the spirits of Mercury and serves to open doors in whatever way they might be closed, and nothing it may encounter can resist it. Psalms 24 verse 7. Open up ancient gates. Open up ancient doors. Let the King of Glory enter. The Moon. The six sigils consecrated to the Moon the color of silver. The first sigil of the moon serves to call forth and invoke the spirits of the moon. It further serves to open doors in whatever way they may be fastened. The sigil is a representation of a door or gate. The verse written above the names on either side is Psalms 107 verse 16. God has broken the gates of brass and cut through the bars of iron. The second sigil of the moon this serves against all perils and dangers by water. If it should happen that the spirits of the moon should excite and cause great rain and exceeding tempests about the circle in order to astonish and terrify you, on showing them this sigil, it will immediately cease. Psalms 56 verse 11. In God I have put my trust, 
I will not fear, what can a human do to me? The third sigil of the moon. This sigil when properly made and carried with you on a journey, serves to protect against all attacks by night, and against every kind of danger and peril by water. The fourth sigil of the moon. This protects you from all evil sorceries, and from all injury to your soul or body. Its angel, gives the knowledge of all herbs and stones, and to whoever shall name him, he will procure the knowledge of all. The verse written states, let them be confounded who persecute me, and let me not be confounded, let them fear, and not I. The fifth sigil of the moon. It serves to have answers in sleep. Its angel serves destruction and loss. As well as the destruction of enemies. Also against all phantoms of the night, and to summon the souls of the departed. Written in Psalm 68 verse 1. Let God arise, and let the enemies be scattered, let those who hate God flee. The sixth and last sigil of the moon. This is wonderfully good, and serves excellently to excite and cause heavy rains. If it is engraved on a plate of silver and placed under water. As long as it remains there, there will be rain. It should be engraved, drawn, or written in the day and hour of the moon. Written on this sigil is Genesis 7 verse 11. All the underground waters erupted from the earth, and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. Our Lord who has created all, who knows all, and can do all, from whom nothing is hidden, to whom nothing is impossible. You know that we perform these ceremonies not to tempt your power, but so we may dive into the knowledge of sacred things. We pray by your mercy, to cause and to permit, that we arrive at understanding. Whatever nature there may be, by your will, most holy Lord, whose kingdom and power shall have no end, unto the ages of the ages. Amen.